Questo è il nostro Ano ba yung mensahe na yung mga ko sa akin? Iba yung pangineresyon. Well, first of all, na yung sabi ko kayo sa taas, yung uh, pelikula, it features millennials. So, medyo ka-generation ko yung mga yan. Millennials being the people who grew up without internet sa simula, pero midway, na-expose sila sa internet, sa social media. Um, the movie is more for people to understand, uh, for millennials to under understand themselves more. Kung bakit sila nagkakagayang yan. Uh, kasi ang dami ko kong research na ginawa. Kaya dito sa pelikula ito. Para makuha kung bakit ganito mag-isip yung mga ka-generation ko. So, wala pong singular message sa iba-iba. For example, yung character ni Jerome, it tackles yung culture of hook up. Na parang dahil sa social media, Um, ang dami choices para sa pag-ibig pero sa, sa, sa sobrang dami ng choices ang hirap pumili gusto nang uh, gusto nang tikman lahat sa kanya na ni Jay ni Adi sa karakter naman ni Jay dahil sa kultura ng vlogging or social media itong mga kabataan millennials and generation C um, minimeasure na namin yung buhay namin sa kung gaano karaming likes at shares. Nagiging about the numbers yung tingin namin sa sarili namin. We measure our self-worth based on how many likes and shares that we get from people sa social media. Sa karang doon naman, sorry, Greg, kasi gusto niyo bang parang-justify ito sa mga older generation na yung titingin niyang generation na ganito na kami ngayon? Hindi ka ba siya justify? Siguro just providing them a clear picture kung bakit ganito kami and hopefully, mas magkaroon ng understanding. Kasi di ba po pag sinasabi yung millennials, parang agad yung stereotype, ay puro Facebook, puro social media, it's, it's more than that. Yeah. Tapos yung karakter naman ni Tony, it's about, kasi kapag kap, mga millennials ngayon, parang napaka-competitive, um, kaya lagi silang work na work at the expense of other factors sa buhay nila. Lagi silang busy. To the point naman sa wala na silang time for relationships. Not just love, but the family, but the even loving yourself, wala na sila pa. Yun ang mga pinatalakay sa karakter ni Tony. Sa karakter ng pagkailang dalawa, magkasama po kasi yung karakter niya. Ayun nga, yung difference lang. Yung karakter ni Bertel, um, dahil ang dami po sa mga millennials, product ng mga broken families. Nagkakaroon na sila ng cynical point of view when it comes to love. Na sobrang paliwas ang pinapakita sa mga pelikula ng generation ahead of us. Na laging happy ever after, laging happy ending na yung karakter naman ni Aldi, exposed siya sa ganong klase ng media na puro ano, everything is romantic. So yun, anong clash yung ano nila, yung pananang lang pagdating sa pag-ibig. So yun, in general siguro yun, gusto natin ipaintindi sa ibang generations kung bakit kami ganito. Yun. So since sa lahat ng cast, um, habang ginagawa yun ang movie, may mga realization kayo na o oh, ganito talaga na kami ngayon, dapat ipindihin na kami ng mga older generation. Tapos, uh, since napapanood din sa mga ibang ibang mga youth-oriented uh, films o mga series, ngayon mga 13 reasons why, mga ganyan. So, nandun dun yung ibang-ibang mga elemento na yung mga yun nga yun sa social media, uh, bullying, mga ganon, mga um, suicide, di ba ganun din sa so, mga pagets na ngayon na parang napakabilis lang sa kanila. Uh, ganun ba yung mga na, nakita niya yan? And even ano, sa mga gay relationships, di ba? Parang open na ngayon sa mga baget, sa mga huling generation na parang fluid na pagdating sa sex, di ba? So, ganun, at hindi rin ba kaya? Ano hindi ba nakita niya sa generation niya? Uh, me, personally, I really don't care about other people understanding our generation because like what are the bearing sound of the day like with what you were saying with the gay, with the gay relationships being open now i think it's about time you know, I don't, why should someone have to hide their sexuality why should someone have to hide who they're dating because the older generation cares about i i, I think it's stupid Yan ang siguro yung karakteristik na rin ng mga huling generation yeah isa na siguro na yun parang Yeah, parang they don't care na kung ano. Ano na, siguro yung pinapakit mo. Hindi na yung belief na rin. Kasi, why, I don't, like, I understand for religious purposes, diba? Like, for example, the divorce bill. If you don't want to get a divorce, if your religion doesn't 
uh, allow you to get a divorce. So don't get divorced, but don't force that on other people. Diba? Like, I'm on a diet, but does that mean you can't eat cookies now because I'm on a diet? Diba? It shouldn't work like that. We shouldn't limit other people. We shouldn't tell other people what to do with their lives if they're not hurting anybody else. May yes, wait a minute. Um, well, this film is all about millennials. Eh? It's an adulting film. Na iba sa mga previous work at the films na pinalabas dito sa Pilipinas. So this is more on how millennials go through their different problems. Kung ano yung mga ugali nila, tapos bakit kami ganito ngayon. So, sana masundan niyo yung mga iba't ibang kwento ng bawat sa characters namin. Kasi very different kami lahat sa isa't isa dito sa film. Ano si Esa? May tilatang sa mga naman. Hindi kasi ako na tinanong ni Sir yung ano, kung nakakarapit pa kayo sa character. Ako, ngayon, unti-unti kung mas nakikita na kung bakit gano'n yung... Kasi in, previously, nung shoot namin yung film, iba talaga yung personality ko. Tapos nakikita ko eh, na a lot of my friends, gano'n na rin yung personality nila. Parang si June na may na unti-unting naiiba yung perception sa love. Kasi sometimes love isn't like dramas. Hindi siya laging happy ending. So, I guess that's what Tsunami sees in love. Um, sana nga po yung mga tao na manunod ng film namin. I hope it's a broad spectrum when it comes to age, uh, nationality, religion. Kasi tama yung sinabi ni Direk. Sana nga yung halimbawa yung mga magulang, makita nila kung bakit nga ganyan yung mga millennials. Kasi alam ko yung mga parents namin, uh, especially because we live in the Philippines, uh, where uh, conservative country, uh, sometimes we don't understand why our kids are acting a certain way. That's a generation naman nila, hindi naman ganun, di ba? I can speak for myself, I have a younger sister na Gen Z, and hindi ko siya maintindihan, as in, hindi ko gets bakit. I don't know why that's how her brain works, hindi ko get bakit ganyan siya magsalita, bakit ganyan yung gali niya, and for me, I have to take time to put myself in her shoes in the parang eh, ibang generation na siya eh, di ba? Yung kung saan ako, kung paano ako pinalaki, kung ano yung mga surroundings ko, iba naman yung sa kanya. So, sana ka a lot of people are able to watch this movie so they can see naman a glimpse into the quote-unquote millennial lifestyle, the many, millennial life, the millennial problems that uh, us millennials go through. Tsaka sa character ko naman po, kung nakarelate ako, I think maraming tao na makakarelate kay Kurt. Kasi ngayon, lahat po tayo ay affected sa sa high competition ng society. Di ba? Lahat ng tao ngayon, gusto na maging boss agad. Hindi tulad ng mga magulang natin na nagsastart talaga sila dito sa baba, tapos magtatabang o pag-promote hanggang magiging boss. Ngayon, everybody wants to be the boss. Everybody wants to be on top. So, I think uh, not only me, but I think a lot of people will be able to relate to Kurt's hardships and his struggle with being a millennial, an overworked millennial. Tony, you are the people that, like the earlier statement of Alvin, you are the people that they don't care if what you are in the group, if what you are in the relationships, if they are in the relationships, relationships uh, whatever, you are the people that don't care if what you are in the group, if they are in the relationships. I hope because I love to be a very open-minded person. Uh, I remember when I was in elementary school, I saw a class that was wearing a headpiece. It a hijab siya or something. I, I'm so sorry to uh, whoever is religious. I'm not sure what it's called, but she was wearing a headpiece. Uh -huh. Sobrang fascinated ako sa kanya. Gusto ko siyang maging kaibigan. Hanggang naging kay magkaibigan na kami. So, for me, I love being friends with people from all walks of life. And I love accepting them. Um, in our world, ang napansin ko, everybody wants to be heard. But at the same time, napaka-sensitive na natin. Diba? Everybody has something to say. But when you say that, there's a hundred people that don't like what you said. But the people who don't like what you said also have something to say. Sensitive ka sa ganyan. 
Na-apektohan ako na ang feeling ko masyado nang nagiging evil yung world natin. I think social media plays a huge part in that. Uh, for me, the hate I see online honestly breaks my heart. Kasi ako bilang open-minded na tao, I guess I do share the same sentiments as Albina. For me, I, I don't care what my friends are into as long as it's not hurting anybody. If you're a Muslim, sure, I'll still be your best friend. I respect whatever uh, you're doing. Uh, um, you know, if my, my friend is vegan, sure, you can be vegan, but I want to eat my meat. So, if we're in a restaurant, okay, I'm a guy. So, for me, I just wish that um, people would be a little bit more understanding. Because everybody wants to be heard, everybody wants to be understood. But nobody wants to listen. So, I... do you think that you're misunderstood too? <laughs> wow. Uh, siguro, oh, oh, naman. I mean, in showbiz, you say something, it gets multiplied into a hundred times, it gets put into a bigger proportion. You know, people take things the wrong way. I think it's part of our job. Uh, we're always getting misunderstood. But, it's, I think, about how you handle yourself when you get misunderstood that really uh, puts the test to your character. Diba? A lot of people these days who get misunderstood will lash out. I think, for me, even though that's what I want to do as well, it's my responsibility if I want to change people's perspective to be responsible to react in a way that they would not expect. To act out of love, to act out of kindness, even though I'm being misunderstood. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. 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 Also, sa mga iba, don't be so quick to judge, syempre, hindi lang for millennials, sa lahat ng generation, um, lahat tayo may ganyan ka ng problema, lahat tayo may ganyan ka ng kagaanan, and we all go through different ways to cope and to be okay. So, ayun na, let's understand each other and um, love each other. Turong sa role, um, although baka may kalikdan ka lang sa pinag-usapan, hindi ka tayo lang. Oh, pero, uh, ito sa role mo, Pagkakitihan mo rin tayo mga guys, yung mga lalaki na pumapakal sa pagpilang sa pumapakal sa isang gay relationship. Well, it means that there's love, di ba? As long as pumasok ang relationship, there's love. Pero kung walang love yan, or needs love. Mabahal yun, pasapatos na yun, no? Ano, di ba? Pero hindi, let's respect na lang. Di ba? May mga ganong tao, kung ganyan yung gusto nila, mas comfortable sila kasama yung gay and may kasama sila na same sex na uh, makakasama. Respect natin lahat yun, pero i-respect din natin yung ibang tao na lumaki din ang generation nila na hindi mo masyado nag-a-out. Na ganun sila eh, siguro ganun lang, pero sila naman, huwag sila masyado man discriminate in a way na parang dadamayan pa nila yung social media kung gano'ng kapag yung social media ganyan yan. So, it's just respect for respect. Everything is so respect lang. Yun lang yun. Wala na iba. Thank you.